All right, today's nonfiction book I picked um, is again by Nick Sh uh, Bishop, and it's about frogs. There are more than 5,000 different kinds of frogs. Scientists are discovering new ones every year. Some frogs look like moss. Other are see-through. A few frogs even glide through the air. Frogs have large eyes, long back legs, and amazing damp, stretchy skin. They do not drink like you do. They absorb water through their skin instead. Frogs can breathe through their skin too, but only if their skin stays moist. That is why most frogs live in a rainy or damp places. Like other toads, spade foot toads are a kind of frog. They stay damp by spending much of their lives underground. They come to the surface after it rains. Red-eyed tree frogs live in rainforest trees. They have special suckers on their toes that cling to leaves. Look at that. Huge. Bullfrogs and many other kind of frogs live near ponds. You will hear them calling to their mates in spring. They lay eggs in ponds too. These eggs hatch into tadpoles, which eat tiny plants and animals. As a tadpole gets older, it grows legs and its tail disappears. One day, the baby frog is ready to hop out of the pond. Frogs love to eat. Their large eyes spot anything that moves. Then they snap it up with their sticky tongue. Closer look to that. Most frogs eat insects, but the horned frogs eat almost anything it can fit in its big mouth. It even eats mice. Ooh, look, that's a tail, I think. Wait, hold on. This way. Lift. Frogs are always watching out for danger. Birds, snakes, and even other frogs may eat them. Dark poison frogs stay safe because they have to toxic skin. Predators leave them alone. Well, that's kind of cool, right? Many other frogs keep very still in hope not to be noticed. Even if they are spotted, they can leap to safety. If a frog stays free, it might live several years. A closer look with Nick Bickshop. Frogs are amphibians, which means leading leading two lives, most lives in water when young and on land as adults. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. The biggest, the, the Golith frog from Africa is as heavy as a newborn baby. Wow. One of the smallest, the gold frog from South America could sit on top of your little finger. To take the photographs of this book, I raised some frogs at home, caring for them as they grew from tadpoles. A few, like the gliding frogs, are now favorite pets. They wake me some nights in their gentle singing. I found other frogs by exploring the pond and, swamp, and swamps near my home. Swamps, sorry, swamps near my home. I also visited rainforests when I was amazed by the many color of dark poison frogs, as tiny as jelly beans on the ground. My favorite, though, was the glass frog. It was as small as a pea with thin legs and um, delicate toes. You can see it on page three of this book. This one. See through. All right. I hope you enjoy that. Frogs by Nick Bishop.